welcome back to my channel so in my last budget with me i did tell you guys that i would be sharing my main shebang goal of 2021 with you all and i was going to be taking you to the goals so that i could better explain it so this is what i am doing in this video and i just thought it would be really cool to just have like a little car chat um on my way there just so that i could show you all visually what my main goal is now that i am completely debt free and i'm really hoping uh that this does not backfire on me okay so got the toothpaste from around my mouth but anyway let's go ahead and get rolling because i am on my lunch and i have to go two cities over to get to this place hopefully it's not too shaky my car mount is uh, not the best it's really cheap um but anyway i am super excited for 2021 um if you follow me on instagram i did share a post where i just basically blasted my salary as well as my business earnings just because i want to be super transparent with you all and show you that you know no it's not because of my income that i'm able to do what i'm doing it's basically faith in a clear plan of action and consistency that allows me to do what I am doing and I just sit and think about all the people who message me just hearing your concerns and what you are struggling with and I just want to tell you that you are more than capable of doing whatever it is that you envision in your mind the life that you are envisioning for yourself you are capable of achieving that no one is telling you that you can't have it but you but that little fearful person inside of your mind that's telling you to not even try because you have this fear of failing but honestly when you don't take action on your vision you are belittling yourself and when you are using someone else's income or someone else's story to uh, validate why they were able to be successful or do certain things and just use that as an excuse to not go after what you want you are belittling yourself you have so much potential that i feel you're sitting on and you don't even realize it because you won't get out of your comfort zone and actually put in action it's not honestly it's not until you put in action that you realize what your strengths and your weaknesses are and that you realize that your circumstances don't define your ability to be successful and when i say successful it's basically whatever that means to you whatever your definition is everyone has a different definition of success success to me is subjective uh, that may look like you having a million dollars in the bank whereas with the next person it may be that they are able to spend more time at home with their kids and less time working multiple jobs just whatever it means to you whatever financial success is to you you are able to do it and I always think about what if I would have let my circumstances dictate my ability to be debt free. I definitely would not be on camera right now speaking to you all, telling you all that you can do it. And I would still be living paycheck to paycheck. I started my debt free journey in 2016. Living paycheck to paycheck, I think I was making around 32000 per year. And we all know that your gross and your net pay are like kind of night and day so it definitely wasn't 32,000 that I was bringing home and I had I was pregnant with my son at the time I had my daughter she was around four years old and basically I was feeling stuck all of my circumstances pointed to you can't do this give up but if I would have listened to that little voice inside my head that was really just a voice that was trying to protect me from failure I would not be where I am today so you just have to get comfortable being uncomfortable and I say this all the time but honestly sometimes that's that's all it takes you're looking for some magic trick to put yourself in a better position financially and sometimes all it takes is faith you stepping out on faith whether that's a little bit of faith or a whole lot of faith 
I'll be completely honest, I did not have a lot of faith in the beginning. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I just knew that the life that I was living was not the life I wanted to pass on to my kids. And when you realize that you have generations attached to you, you're going to move a lot differently. You are leaving a blueprint for your kids. And I know I have a lot of moms, especially single moms that are watching me. You are the blueprint for your children. They will follow in your footsteps. What is it that you are leaving them? You have to really ask yourself that. And if you are not leaving them something that you want to leave them, you've got to move differently. You've got to be strategic with your steps because they are watching you. But I hope that that was all a word for someone today who needed to hear that. take you all to the duplex to actually show you up close um, the type of duplex that I am looking to invest in but um, I remember I saw it I was coming back from cleaning out my desk at work and we had to take a detour and I was really annoyed but I am so grateful for that detour because I came across it and I was like that's it that's the type of unit that I am looking to invest in so my big big mama goal for 2021 is to begin saving for a down payment on a duplex and my goal is 15,000 if I do save more that is perfectly uh, okay with me but I plan to take ten thousand and use it as a down payment and five thousand i will set it back for unforeseen expenses because i'm pretty sure that i will have a lot of them um and hopefully i'm not undershooting but even if i am that's okay because i'm still going to walk by faith i cannot let the what if stop me because if i do i'm going to get stuck in that analysis paralysis phase and i am never going to make any progress towards my goal so i this is very new for me i i've never invested before and i really don't know everything that i am doing or what i am supposed to do but just like I did on my debt free journey, I'm going to move my feet, walk by faith, and I'm going to learn as I go. And that is for anyone that is wanting to set a big goal. Just move your feet, take action because you need those experiences to learn and to grow and to gain wisdom. You're never going to learn everything before you start. And if you try to like digest all this information and try to get everything perfect before you actually start you're doing yourself a disservice and you are just stopping yourself from making progress and you're prolonging like your agony so um yeah like you guys the area it is truly beautiful down here um and i just feel a strong calling to be here to invest here and also to station my family here and to build wealth here it's like the sun just shines a little brighter down in this area and i was honestly my happiest here when i did live down here downtown we're actually coming up on uh, my old apartment complex which is right here on the side um, 
but it's just so open so airy you can take the trolley the trolley you can see the trolley tracks they come around and take you to wherever it is that you are trying to go you don't have to drive your car really it's just uh, you're close to a lot of restaurants and it's just a different type of vibe downtown so yeah this is where I feel like I really want to be that is it I am going to be a real estate investor and I do plan to house hack so uh, basically I will be living on one side and renting out the other side and hopefully that person who pays me rent will um, cover the cost of the mortgage and I can build up a savings of course to use for maintenance requests uh, but also to use to roll it into another investment property that is my game plan um, and I'm going to document it all here I don't know the ins and out like I said I don't know what I'm doing sis has never invested before investing is new to me but I am excited to take you all on this journey and hopefully I have inspired and motivated some of you to take your own journey to walk your own journey whatever that may look like and um, I am excited to share some investing tips with you all and especially if you are looking to get into the real estate game but my lunch is pretty much over I will see you all in the next one